Right, we are here on the Dream Sky stand and we have found something that is about to take iPhone and tablet gaming to a whole new level. Now, if you have a tablet, you know that touching the screen, it's okay if you're playing something like a casino game or something like that, but when it comes to action, forget it. You want to get yourselves one of these, check it out. And uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about this. This looks really cool. Okay, so as you've already mentioned, a traditional gaming experience shouldn't be difficult. I shouldn't have to struggle to play a proper hardcore game. Now, it's different for games like Candy Crush that rely on touchscreen mechanics. But if I'm playing a console-like game, I don't want to be hindered by the fact I have so many on-screen prompts. Now, a good example of the fact that GameVice supports hardcore games and 3D and fully-fledged adventure games is Assassin's Creed. Now, the latest Assassin's Creed game is instantly familiar to anybody who's played the console counterpart. Now, as you can see, I'm picking this up as I would a traditional console controller. I'm moving around using traditional console controls, and I'm even attacking instinctively using the controls and the navigations I'll use on a Xbox or PlayStation device including using triggers for various different things such as targeting and blocking. Now, the, very, the reality is, is with GameVice is that it's going to support not only the best games, it's going to support the most hardcore, it's going to support the most controller-friendly games, whether they are retro games or whether they're more modern games like Assassin's Creed. Now, as you can see here, this is an experience that you typically get on console. As you can see, I'm playing this like a console game, and it's in fact picking up the fact that I'm attacking. It's using the fact that I'm pressing A for attack as an on-screen prompt. So it's already mapped out, but it's also using the four additional buttons you don't necessarily get unless you've figured out the on-screen controls. Now, the great thing about GameBuys is it's not only one game supported or a genre supported, it's supported by various different games. Now, if I was to close this, for example, I can use the GameBuys dedicated app, as I've seen here, to act as a portal between myself, the fan, the gamer, and the app store. So what it's going to do when it loads, it's going to show me all the GameVice compatible games without me having to trawl through the App Store and say to myself, gee, I wonder if this works or, hey, let, let, you know, let's see if this works instead. So I'm... So let's have a quick look at the mechanics of this. How does it actually fit to the top of this? Sure. So we have here the iPad mini version. <coughs> this is one version. We also have the iPhone S, S Plus. It's going to support every modern device there is. Okay, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to I'm going to set it up as if it's a first time installation. So, I have my tablet. I have my recently purchased accessory. Now, really really light. The good thing is is with the iPhone version is this this will go in and both sides will be magnetic and I can put it in my back pocket. Now, because this is a slightly bigger version and it's supporting a much heavier device, it doesn't quite have that magnetic and compact state. However, it's still very easy, very quick, very convenient to set up. And thinking aloud here, your alternatives are traditionally a conventional plug-in controller. And let's face it, if you're on a train or something very public, I'm not going to set up a stand <laughs> controller. That's too much to do for a game I'm only going to probably be playing for 20 minutes. Okay. So let's set this up. So this is the easy part. This is straightforward. I have my connection here. I'm going to match it to the connection that's within the device. Plug Slide it in. in. And then stretch it over. All done and It's going to say, do you want to allow game vice? Of course I do. I want to allow game vice to be used with my games. Now the great thing is as well, just from a hardware perspective, is it's got a dedicated charge. So it's not draining any power from my device which, if you're a frequent gamer, you understand that that's a, it's a big situation in itself. If I'm playing a hardcore, uh, 3D, graphics-heavy game, it's going to drain my battery. If I've got a device on top of that, I, I'm not going to have this uh, device uh, <laughs> active for long. So, so it, what's, it, what's the battery life on the actual controller? Um, I can't give a dedicated hours as I don't have those statistics, but we are on a low level and we've had this set up since nine o'clock, uh, before nine o'clock. Okay. So we've had this running for several hours right. and we've not even charged it yet. Okay. We will do soon, but not yet. What's the retail price on it for an iPad Mini? The retail price is 79.95. Right. 
which we believe to be a very fair offering. Okay. So it's not too expensive. For Not at all. That you can just keep using and using and using. Not at all. I mean, the great thing is as well, if you have a iPhone device and you've upgraded to the larger iPhone 6S Plus, for example, that version will support two. It yeah. works very much like an elastic band. It just stretches that little bit more. Okay. Now, obviously, we have very different size iPads, so the situations are very slightly different. For example, if you've got the 12 inch, that's a different beast in itself. Yeah. So you're going to have to have something more specific. But the reality is, you're not going to chop and change too often. And with a phone, for example, if you upgrade to that larger size, you don't have to get a second device. You've got it already there. It's just going to extend a little more. And you're still going to have that compatibility. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, this, this seems to be the item that is changing gaming for tablets and iPhones. A lot, a lot better, I would say, for the hardcore gamers out there. Thank you.